Our brothers got a new defensive video for you today. Going to be going over another defense that's going to be good post patch. We are we were going to drop an actual ebook on it, and then they dropped the patch. So we're going to have, kind of rework in the ebook to get it updated for you. But four three even six one. If you want to learn how I run the defense, it's going to be in our school community. I'll put a link in the description to the school community if you want to check that out. That's where all of my stuff is: offensive, defensive ebooks, everything you need to take. Your Madden game to the next level is over on school, so if you're not a member of the site yet, you can uh, sign up in the description below. All right, so we're going to be rocking some 6-1 in this video and kind of seeing how it is uh, post-patch. Really like 6-1. I think 6-1 has a lot of potential this year to be another really, really good defense, and I forgot I have to, <laughs> I forgot I have to guard that guy. Lost. All right, we're off to a great start. Love when we play five wide. There's just nothing like five wide. Uh, I think I'm going to run some Mabel coverage so that doesn't happen again. Yeah. I wanted to run some match, but... So you guys didn't know in a five wide set if there are three receivers to the right and two receivers to the left, the three receiver side, your user has to go to the third receiver. So, tough scene. Our boys are back here, so I am in... I think I'm actually in Colts. So we're going to take a little peek at Colts post-patch. I actually think this patch improved Colts. I'm not going to lie, because... The reason why I think it improved Colts is because I feel like double mug was the main thing that Colts kind of struggled to beat. And I feel like it's going to be back, honestly, after this. I actually really... I actually feel like this patch really helped coach. And Colts playbook, not going to lie. Double post... Got a lot better post post patch. It's on my controller on the ground. And do a lot of other stuff. All right. Let's see here. Okay, a little shed game. Good. All right. Great defense by my opponent. Just get an instant shed up the A gap. As I'm throwing my wide open drag. Boom. Yeah, I feel like Colts got a lot better, honestly. It's not it's it's probably still not gonna be like the best offense, but I do feel like auto motion is not as essential as it was uh pre patch. So for that reason, I do feel like Colts got a lot better. I don't know what a deep zone guards, honestly, post patch. I I don't feel like deep, I feel like deep zones got a thousand like got significantly worse. Speaking of that, we need to be we need to be throwing touchdowns. We need to be throwing touchdowns here for our own cover three hard flat and just sitting it. Okay, that was not cover three hard flat. Big Will Levis doing what he needs to do, getting the points, getting the plays. We do refuse to play match, so we're just going to go to wide trail. Let's see if we can just hit this corner route. Very nice. Nice throw, Will. There's Will making a big time throw, just doing what he needs to do, getting the job done. I do think this, I do, I really do think that the Colts playbook is better than it was before the patch. And I, I feel like before the patch, pretty much everybody was leaving Colts. I can see there, I can see a path forward for Colts. I can definitely see a path forward for it. It just depends on if we get any good man to man. Um, defenses Colts just struggles against man It's really the main reason why uh, I think people left it Now the one weakness of Colts Is obviously it's really good in bunch um, Okay that That did not go according to plan um, Colts is really good Specifically in bunch offset And you are going to see A lot more match coverage Post patch They actually specifically patched some match coverage principles back into the game. So I do think you are going to see uh, kind of a, a resurgence, a resurgence of match coverage. So that's something, but I think cold still, I mean, it just has a lot of good stuff. It, it's not just the bunch, but it has bunch wide. It has tight open. It has uh, trips tight. It has like a pretty good trips. So there's some, there's some, some things for colds that I think, Kind of make it really, really good. Let me see if I can just catch that and turn up field. I can't. Somehow we're on a fourth down. I'm trying to think what I want to do. 
Uh-huh. Quick snap verts, why not? Touchdown. I'm on Ross St. Brown. Budget baller. <laughs> B&D, I'm on Ross St. Brown. Just a budget baller. At the end of the day, getting the job done, and now the defense gets a chance to actually play defense. So we will see how that goes. Actually get to get be able to play a drive of defense here. I don't know the best way to kick it. If you guys know the best way to kick it in this game now, let me know in the comments because I just I just want to make it so that they can't score a touchdown, but I also don't want them to get the ball to midfield. <laughs> like I want the ball like right where that was. <laughs> That's like the ideal. All right, here we go, boys. 6-1, the debut. You should never be able to run the ball in 6-1. Never. Never. Come on, some double flat, double Mabel. I think double Mabel could be really good post-patch, too. Double Mabel, match coverage, roll coverage, press man-to-man -man coverage are all uh, pretty viable post-patch. Let me shift this out here. Spread the linebackers. Here we go. We're going to have some kind of crazy RPO. I'm going to pass commit. I pass committed. <sighs> I pass committed, guys. Pass committed. I pass committed. I pass committed, and it just didn't matter. It just, this is the game we play sometimes, boys. RPO read flat. We pass committed. That time it mattered. Sometimes it matters. Sometimes it doesn't. That's just kind of where we're at. I'm really sick and tired of these these stupid RPO plays. Really am. Come on, vert hooks, vert hooks, vert hooks. Uh-huh. We want that. That's what we want him to do. That's what we want him to do. How do you catch that? I, I should have just let it go. I should have just let the, the cloud flag get it. Let's take a look at that play. Just another... This is what I'm talking about with South Squad, though. If you look to the left side here for a second, he's going to be a streak to the running back, a motion out streak, which is the good kind. Look at that. soft. That's a 30-yard South Squad just running with it. I think 30-yard South Squads might be the best zone in the game. All right, here we go. I'm pass committing. I'm pass committing. I'm pass committing. I'm pass committing. No. No. That's a fumble. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. 6-1 just has the best sheds. That's what that's what makes it really good. It's sin five is okay, but it's it's really this year is really more than ever gonna be a, a shed D. Alright, we're gonna try to send some heat. Probably gonna There you go, Kendricks. That's what we need. See, six one just ah, I like it. It's a sim it's just a simple defense, but it's really good. Um really, really, really good. All right, we need to. Ooh. Ooh. There it is, boys. 6 1. Got the first stop of the game. That's what it does. Got some nice pressure there out of 6 1. Not going to lie. If you can get good sin, you don't even need this. I don't even think you need the sin 6 to be like crazy good. You need the sin 5 to be good. You really need the sun five to be good. A little dig return here. Make offense simple. Throw right out of bird hook. Why not? Why not? Let's see if we can get this snapped. Snap. Very good. I think he just tried to man it up. Bench pivot. Let's go verticals here. High ball. I thought they passed high balls, boys. Yeah, Colts might be back. Colts might be back. There's just so many ways to attack a defense in this playbook. Shaded down man. I'm going to throw that. Catch it, Dallas. Good catch, buddy. Good catch. Yeah, the main thing that really, I think, gives Colts the most amount of issues is the shaded down man coverage. Shaded down man coverage gives Colts 
Because it doesn't have an auto motion play. And the thing about auto motion play is when you can audible to an auto motion play and just basically eliminate Shaded Down Man. The thing that makes like Chargers, even Falcons, but really Chargers and Packers so good is those auto motion wheel plays. You can't play man against it. So, and then also both of those playbooks have a decent enough bunch strong where that's going to cancel your ability ability to play match. So now you're just kind of forced into one method of, of being able to play defense. So I feel like that's the real reason why people – I was not expecting him to actually throw that. Not expecting that throw. Cover four quarters. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, I did not mean for that to occur. Oh, that did not work out. That did not work out. I did not mean to flip it. Let's not flip it. We don't want to flip this anymore. We do not want to flip this anymore. We just want to. Let's just try to see. Simple send five here. I get that to come in. The running back. I need to figure out a way to get that that send five to come in better. Let's try, uh, let's try, let's try this. I actually feel okay about this defense. How's that a catch? <laughs> I was like exactly what the defense is designed to not give up. <laughs> let's shift to the right. All right, we gotta watch for this RPO stuff. It's not a good game at the end of the day. All right, back here, boys. We'll break in the action. Let's go uh, see if we can keep scoring. The thing that makes Colts, I think, so powerful is it just has, like, everything you could – like, it has a really good red zone. It, if you can just move the ball <laughs> in Colts, the red zone is really good, the run game. Um, if you can make – I mean, it really comes down to is – this is by far the best bunch – Unless you want Y curl, uh, which are some valid valid reasons to want uh, Y curl, but it's just the most complete bunch at the end of the day. It's hard to believe that that that's not still. Look at that nice vertical throw. Good catch, Brown. Good catch, Brown. I call a timeout. And go to Y trail here. Has a lot of really good quick hike plays, good RPO game. Like it just comes. I just think it's the most. I think it's still honestly the most complete playbook in the game. But I don't know. A lot of people are going away from. A lot of people are going away from Colts. I'm kind of curious to see if this patch, if this patch bring because the 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 big change in defensive meta, you're going to see a lot more six one and dollar right. Well, dollar, your those cheap motion plays. I don't feel like they're really that good against dollar because dollar's not a man-to-man -man based defense, right? Both of those are baseline defense, so the cheap motion doesn't really do much for you. So we'll see. All right, sixteen seconds left in a half. Now we're gonna go back to our match coverage, actually, situationally here. Here's a cheap motion play. So I don't have any vertical responsibility. I'm just looking for drags here. Let's see if we can play some good defense. That's mine. That's a pick. It's got to be a pick. Thank you. That is good for the game, and that is a pick. That is very good for the game. Good job, Williams. Oh, run it. Run it, Williams. He's got that dog in him. All right, we're going to take three. <laughs> We're going to take three here. And the reason we're going to take three is because I don't have any great passing plays for this situation. So we're just going to take three. Going to half up two possessions. And I think we get ball. Oh, I thought we'd take all the clock there. All right, kickoff. 
Let's do the power squib. What can go wrong? Famous last words, boys. Power squib. What can go wrong? Here we go. I'm just running back. I'm just running back. Just running back. Please. Yeah, my special teams game is always a weakness. Not very good at kicking the ball. And I always give up kick returns. Every year of Madden that I've ever played Madden, I've given up kick returns. And I'm not sure why. That's why I actually thought the squib kick was, <laughs> like, decent. Because the only time I'm ever good on special teams is when you can do stuff like that. Because then at least you're just almost guaranteed that they're not going to return it. But Back to double post we go, brothers. Back to double post we go. Got double post, smash return, verts. Got a curl flat play. Kind of want to try the double corner combo. Might try that next play. I just like how, like, the West Coasty, like, the. I just feel like in this game, um, having good, like, uh, for lack of a better word, like, short passing. I think that's, like, really important in this game. Just take our flat. A dig return here. A lot of my friends are getting online. A lot of my pals. I don't know what he's using right there. Olave. Let's go curl flat. Work the backside ghost route. This is just a clinic right now off offense. We're actually moving the ball. It's the first time I've ever moved the ball in Madden back in Colts. Ooh, let's see how this play works. See, I think this could be good, like a wide side combo, because it's hard to switch stick that. That's why I think it could be good. I feel like that's a hard switch stick to make. Little motion out corner. Now they have to put the soft squad out there. And then you have something like this. Let's just see how this works here. Should. Movement is just terrible in this game. You just can't change direction. It's, it's just funny to me. People try to change direction in a game where you can't change direct direction. And just, you know, it's just not a good decision. Oh, that didn't work out. That did not work out. Oh, man. I thought I was going to easily be able to throw that underneath the yellow zone. That did not go well. Oh, that did not not go well, boys. Back to defense. Back to defense we go. I'll send five here. Hmm. Frustrating. Let's just send. I wonder if I don't pinch. I wonder if that's. I wonder if I don't pinch. Let's just see how that blitz is. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I need that to be a pick. I need that to be a pick. I feel like that was a. <laughs> I feel like I'm right there. All right. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Let's just man him up. That's an inside quarter. That's an inside. That's two inside quarters. Okay. All right. I don't know what what Gronk has, but he's the best player of all. Like, <laughs> this Gronk is just him. This is insane. I don't know how Gronk is doing this. Word is bond. There it is, boys. All right, that did not go well for us. 
Somehow this is still a game. Let's see here. He's going to go five wide. Let's try 15 yard. All right, I got to watch. Throw right at me. There's just some things that I don't understand about this game. That's a catch? That's a catch? That's a catch? Let's just take a little peeksies at this great read by my opponent. How is that a catch? The five yard hook curls or vert hooks. <laughs> oh, that's just frustrating. Like, that's not really a not really a great read by my opponent there. He threw through my player, and then his player teleported in front of my player for the pick, and now we're somehow in a three-point game. Tough scene, boys. So, all right, we just got to fight through it. Just got to play good fundamental Madden. We do have the Colts playbook with every RPO you could ever need. Oh, but Pacheco, what I was telling you about special teams, boys. What was I telling you about special teams? Hmm? Not bad. Not bad. We do have our audible set thanks to the, the patch before the patch. All right, I'll get a degree turn out of this. Post. Flat. Go. I catch that? Ooh, I thought that was a catch. It's all right. All right. Yep. You could just uh, go down. Thank you. Yep. You broke the rules, sir. You broke the rules. I'm sorry. Sorry to tell you, but you broke the rules, brother. Let's see how this play is looking. Free. Spin. Nope. Oh. The second time I've done that. Sorry about that, brothers. Just want to throw things sometimes. Sometimes this is how man does. This is sometimes what happens to you. RPO read. Why not? That didn't work. Somehow we got four yards out of that. <laughs> I should not have called hike there. No, actually. Oh, I got this formation. I'll just call a quick hike. Okay, that's not going to ever be a quick hike. Thank you. Dot. <laughs> it's funny how people still don't know about that. The RPOs, if it has an out route, you can stem the out route all the way up. It basically turns it into a streak, and if they don't pass commit, the zones drift away from it, and it's wide open. Just leveraging the power of seam streaks, brothers. Of seam streaks. We're just leveraging the power of seam streaks. All right, let's go get a stop. One stop and it's done, boys. One stop and it is done. It is finished. I have my, make sure my flats are, all right, there we go. All right, I don't think I'm going to blitz anymore. I think I might be done with that. Boy, this guy's playing offense. Look at that, Matt. Dude, I love, dude, this defense is so, like, this defense is so glitchy, you don't even realize. Like, it's not just the fact that it's, like, it's got, you've got these, like, soft squats, and then the quarter flats are really glitchy, and then the inside quarters, they just do all kinds of things, boys. I just don't know how that's a completion. I don't know how that's a completion. My goodness. Just don't know how that's a completion. All right, we're sending. We're sending some dogs here. 
Let's uh, let's deep half this guy. We should not have deep half the guy. Uh, how does he score? I g <laughs> okay. Good read, brother. Just a great read. One of the worst patches or uh, changes I've ever seen in a patch in Madden is the decision to put the the name in the middle of the freaking screen. They also underratedly. This is another reason why I quarter this defense I'm running out six one. I think could be pretty good. Even though I'm just not – just, I feel like I've been very close to stops every single drive. I've just not been able to find – like kind of get it done. But um, the – what I was going to say, um, the deep zone logic in this game is in a really bad place, like a really bad place. Like if you have a deep third – watch this deep third. Watch me just throw right at it. It's not going to do anything. Now, I can't catch it in bounds, but it's kind of interesting how these uh, these deep logic post patch. That little running back route is so good. <laughs> that little running back route just kills people. That's why. So I think like double flatting and not having a deep zone on the field is not a bad idea. Just having the inside quarters for seams. Look at that yellow zone back up, fifteen yards. The yellow zone took was about fifteen yards when I threw that drag. So another thing I was trying, been trying to tell you guys, like underneath passing, like drags, zigs, that to me is going to be the way to go. Like verts hit this running back route. Snap. We'll cover. Oh, 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 no good. No good. I don't know what just happened to me. I have no idea what just happened to me. That did not go out. That did not go well. And that was not cover three sky. Let's go verts for the red. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. It did not happen again. Very good. <laughs> Colts might be back, boys. Colts might be back here. If you're looking at this score, you're looking at this. Look at my look at how my offense has just moved the ball. Like it's just moved the ball well. Colts might be back. So we get the touchdown to put us up by 10 so we can hopefully go out and get one more stop. One more stop, boys. One more stop, baby. One more stop. I don't know. What do you guys think of the patch? What do you think is good post patch? I think basically bunch strong, maybe bunch offset are going to be the meta offenses. And then six, one and dollar to me are the only defenses that are really relevant at this point. I think cub has some use. But I don't know if it's enough um, as like a standalone D. Let's just see. See, look at that soft squat. See how that soft squat's not getting beat by a streak? That's never happened in Madden before. Not only is it pressed, but it's also like a 30-yard. But if for some reason, this soft squat will run with streaks on the outside. They, they, they literally run with them. If it's a streak, they'll just run with them. And then they'll bite on stuff like crazy. Like there. <laughs> Now we can't we can't catch a pick, and apparently Gronk catches every single thing he's ever been thrown. But this this is really good defense. I know we struggled a little bit, but at the end of the day, we got the W. We got the one stop we needed. Thanks for watching the video. If you guys want to check out in this full ebook, full breakdown of exactly what I'm doing out of six one, it is going to be in our school community. Everything's in the school community. Ten bucks gets you access to everything over there. The link is in the description if you want to sign up.